This is what I find helpful about Facebook, right? What I find useful about it is it enables you to identify which of your friends are twats, basically, because <laughs> what happens is when your friends speak to you, they just tell you what they think you want to hear or they sort of, like, keep their real opinions to themselves. But on Facebook, they post up what they really think and then you think, oh, right, yeah, no, you are a bellend. Like, I, I didn't know. I suspected, but now I know. It's when you find out which of your friends are racist, homophobic, sexist, misogynistic, Islamophobic. My wife gets really offended. She's like, oh, God, I hate it. I love it. <laughs> I gravitate towards it. I start asking her more questions. I want to know exactly how idiotic these morons are, right? One of my wife's friends, she put up a Britain First picture, right? Ban the burqa, right? had a picture of a woman in a burqa, it said, this is disgusting. If you want this to stop, click like. Because that is how <laughs> this woman thinks that legislation works, right? The base of <laughs> Theresa May will look at that and go, shit, we're gonna have to ban the burqa. <laughs> well, it's got 700 likes, and I've just put it on Lad Bible. <laughs> Anyway, straight away, right, my wife defriended her. She said, it's racist. Now, I don't know if she really thought that or she was doing it out of solidarity with me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not Muslim, but I think she's just trying to show that she's down with the browns. You know? <laughs> anyway, straight away, she defriended her. Fuck that, mate. I added her. <laughs> I sent her a message. I don't like Muslims either. Let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> But it does make me nervous. It makes me nervous, because I think, shit, you know, what does this mean for my family? I'm married to a white woman, do you know what I mean? I'm telling you that because it's important for the next bit. I'm not showing off. <laughs> but I'm not one of these ethnic minorities that remain within their own communities. I'll move to your neighbourhood, I'll take one of your jobs, I'll shag one of your women. <laughs> and I will bring the property prices right down. That's just how I operate. Sometimes I think I'm having more children just to piss off the neighbours, do you know what I mean? Just... <laughs> Number four <laughs> one, mate! <laughs> You'll be the minority soon, wouldn't you? This carries on. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw a condom, to be honest with you. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. If I can't afford it, I'll just claim. <laughs> But it does make me nervous, because I think I'm in a multicultural family. What the hell's going on? I mean, UKIP got a million votes in the last election. I was thinking, Jesus, what does that mean for my family? And then I was realising I'm misjudging UKIP. I don't know anything about them. I'm banding them in with the EDL and Britain First. I thought, I don't know anything about them. I need to educate myself. I need to find out about them. So I did. I went to the UKIP website, checked them out. Do you know what? Very nice website. <laughs> Nice colour scheme, easy to navigate menus, they've got some values. <laughs> Start looking at the policies, I'm thinking, there's not a lot of shit here I disagree with. You know, they want to <laughs> take tax off the minimum wage, I'm in complete agreement with that. I'll get to the end of it, I read all the policies. I thought, fuck. I think I'm UKIP. <laughs> I phoned up my mum, I said to mum, honestly, what have you really contributed? <laughs> And I'll be honest with you, Apollo, I wasn't that happy with her answers. That's the honest truth. <laughs> she might have to go.